Hey y'all, it's your girl Jane B of C Jane Twirl and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, how you doing? And if you're here again, hey, thank you for coming back. This channel is all about beauty, travel, DIY, and lifestyle. So if any of those are your thing or your jam, then you're in the right place. So this week, I'm doing a little running around the city. So you're just gonna come with me to a doctor's appointment. I'm running to Mood Fabric because I upcycle. I'm upcycling a pair of shorts, a pair of their jeans first, but then I made them into these really cute shorts. So you definitely wanna stick around with that. I went to the spa out in Jersey. And then you're gonna see me with some hair tips, you know, just showing you how I get my hair all fabulous. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, thank y'all for joining in, for stopping by. Make sure if you like what you see to click the like button and hit subscribe. And um, I'll see you later. Peace. Good morning. So starting today, I decided I'm going to get out of my way. And uh, starting out, I'm just gonna get some exercise in. So for my moisturizer, I use the Vanity Cream. Can you see that? Black girl sunscreen, cause we don't want no ash. Now when I put this on, I have to make sure not to get it in my eyes cause it will irritate my eyes. A lot of people ask me what this is here. This is called a Libre Glucose Monitor. I was diagnosed with diabetes five years ago and I use this just to maintain my sugar levels. And I'm happy to say I've never taken a pill. I've been able to maintain my sugar levels just by um, eating and diet exercise. So that's what that is. So if you're curious to know, that's what I have on my arm. This is my outfit of the day. This is my upcycled top that I made from a men's button down shirt. The pants are also thrifted. Here is my face. So I'm about to hit these streets. So I'm bringing y'all with me, so come on. So I made it into the city now. I'm on my way to my doctor's office, but I got here early. It was a great connection with the train today. So I'm here a little early, so I had a chance to take some pictures. Later on, I have some other stops to make. Of course, y'all gonna come with me. I had to get some blood work done, but the machines were down. So I left, I'll just go to somewhere much closer to me. I want to go to the fabric garment district because 
I'm looking for some lace that I can add to a pair of jeans for like upcycling purposes. One thing about New York, so it's cool now, right? So today's like officially like jacket weather, but you're gonna get people with shorts on, tank tops, halters, coats, boots. You get a little bit of everything. I'm off to mood. This store is iconic. It has been featured in every season of Project Runway. This is where you go to get every type of fabric imaginable. You can find what you need for the most part. I got the lace that I have been looking for for that upcycle project I was telling you guys about. So I'm excited about that. And it's just good to be in the space just to, you know, feel the iconicness of what is mood fabrics after mood i ran down to b and h which it wasn't too far to just check on um, some camera equipment so i went there they weren't able to help me but at least i was able to get in there and just ask some questions so that was pretty much it my day was done now i'm just headed back to queens so after today i decided i needed to twist my hair i like wearing it up but I feel like when it's down, I just like how it gives me more of a fuller look. Because when it's up, it's very concentrated. I think this time I'm going to do a combination of twists and braids. And when I take it out, I really like that look. Just in case if you were curious, I've had these micro locks 15 years now. I did cut them for five years. I used to wear the side shades. So that's why you see different lengths. Like you'll see this length here and then you'll see this length down here. I always say if I never cut my hair, it would be so long right now. It would probably be touching my booty. So these are considered micro locks. Sister Locks is a brand, like a brand name. Kind of like Wonder Bread and like if you used to say Wonder Bread and just a regular like generic bread is the same thing. So it's basically the same look, the same feel, but technically it wasn't started the way you would start sister locks but the look the outcome is the same so when i put my hair in twist and braids basically i just take this water bottle i love it because it's a, like a fine mist when it comes out like that and what i do since my hair was retightened last week so i just spray down the shaft because it comes out better when it's like slightly damp so i just spray down the shaft of my hair and so what I'm gonna do is every other one, I'm just gonna braid it and then twist it. I take the right and bring it over the left. That way it stays in place. I have on my top, don't worry. I'm not naked. So I just twist it around just like that. How about that? I usually leave it in about, sometimes two, three, four weeks. Sometimes I just like the way it looks so much and it's so easy that I just leave the twist in a lot of times. I just, I come all the way to the end. I bend it like I bend it so it's not like straggly ends. So I bend it like this and I bend it one more time so that the ends look like just like rounded. So it looks like that up close. You see the twist? And it's just so easy to maintain. So I'm on my last twist. If you have any questions about my hair or my hair care, let me know. I get it redone every five weeks. You don't really have to do much. I oil my scalp once in a while. And sometimes I wash my hair right before I go to get it done. Or I wash it maybe once in between. It just depends on how it feels. Like it feels a little dirty. From depending on what I've been into, what activities, then I'll wash it. But if not, Sometimes I just let it go until this time, which is like five weeks. It, I'm gonna show you guys some, the fabric that I got today at Mood. I saw a DIY video and one of the ideas they had was putting that lace fabric on a pair of jeans. Oh my God, so sexy, so pretty. And I was like, well, I can do that. So I was like, okay, let me find some fabric. So, you know, that's why I had to go to Mood because, you know, Mood is legendary. 
and it's just fun. It was just fun to be there, and it was in my price range because them prices, child, Jesus, Jesus, the prices, the prices, Lord God, for the good fabric. I was like, Ooh. I was like, was that eight hundred dollars a yard? I said, oh no, okay. But that's more for like brides and things like that. But for what I'm doing, I got a really good deal. But I'm gonna let y'all know all about that when I show y'all, okay? All right, guys. So I'll talk to you later. Peace. So do you like what you see so far? If you do, like, what you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Just hit it. You know, hit that notification bell, all the things. Okay. All right, guys, let's keep going. Good morning. So I got up bright and early. I don't even know if y'all can see me. Hold on. I got up super bright and early today because today I'm going to the spa because I had some days off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the spa, it's something I haven't done in a while, just to relax and decompress. So I'm up this morning, ready to go, getting things done, cleaning up. I just started taking not that long ago. Sour sock. I take this, I take the leaves, one I remember, but twice a day. I take about 10 leaves and then I put it in my, my coffee steeper, believe it or not. And I just steep the leaves and then when I'm ready, I just press down like that. And then once I press down, I drink it twice a day, no sugar, nothing added extra. And soursop has been said to be good for cancer fighting properties and just anti-inflammatory inflammatory properties. So that is what I'm having. So definitely, if you guys can get a hold of this, definitely try getting some soursop, okay? Okay, so I'm out here on my way in to Sojo Spa. My appointment time is 10 o'clock, you know, the check-in time. But I'm going to go in early because this is a nice breakfast spot I want to go to first. Maybe eat a little Vittles before I go in. They don't let you bring in food. You got to eat what they have there. But the food there is really good too. So anyway, I'm not going to unfortunately be able to bring y'all with me to the spa because I'm trying to relax. But I'll let you see when I get there. And, and you all come with me to breakfast. Let me show y'all what I got at Mood. So this is a piece of lace. It's one yard, a half a yard, a half a yard. Child, this was $50 a yard, but so I paid $25 for it. Because what I want to use this for is I want to put it at the bottom of a pair of jeans. That's what I'm thinking so far. Or maybe the back of a jacket, something like that. I'm not really sure, don't hold me to it. but. I want to put it on the bottom of a pair of jeans just to give it a very soft feminine look. I saw that on an upcycle somewhere on YouTube and I was like, oh, I can do that, yeah. So this is the fabric. Let me show you. I think it's so pretty. You can see it up close. And that's what I'm going to be using on the bottom of my pants. In the meantime, I want to start my upcycle with a pair of pants that was given to me and I've been wearing them but they're a little like too short for me a little high water and they're just a little too snug around the hip I have these this denim from a pair of jeans that I cut into a triangle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in upside down so I'm gonna make these jeans into shorts and then I'm gonna take this part and put it so that this part is around the leg. I got this idea from Blueprint DIY, but I'm just like alter, altering it. I'm not sure how it's gonna come out because they, they have stretch to them. So I just wanna avoid saggy booty. Cause you know, saggy booty is a thing. You know, like when it's too saggy around the butt after you've been wearing them all day. But I do think it may get a little saggy booty-ish. Pray my strength in the Lord. I think it should be okay. I'm crossing my fingers. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just measure out exactly how short I want the shorts to go. And um, before I even cut it, I measured it again, just to make sure it's always good to measure it twice. Once the leg is cut, then what I do is take the remainder of the leg and place it on the other leg, just to make sure that it's the exact same length and the exact same cut. 
Once the cut is done and I lay out the shorts, then I take that side fabric just to see how it'll measure up. Once that's done, I just use a seam ripper and I go up the sides of the jeans. And here I'm deciding where I want the V to stop, but that will come into play later. Now I'm just opening up the entire side with the seam ripper. This takes a minute, but it'll get done. Once it's all open, now it's time to press open the seam that I just ripped. So here I am just opening up, pressing out the seam just to make sure they're both flat before I actually go in and hem it. It's easier to hem it first before you add the side panels just to make sure everything is nice and neat because the piece I'm adding in is already, you know, already finished. So I wanna finish off this part. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just, I think it's like one inch I did. So here I am just sewing it just to make sure it's nice and flat. And now I'm just deciding where I wanna go in and put the sides in and how it will look. This is what happened. It turned out that the V, it wouldn't go in neat and it wouldn't match on both sides. So I ended up having to get some Ankara fabric, which is like African fabric. And then I opened up the waist and I was able to actually fit in the side panel into the waist, just opened it up a little, put the fabric in, and then I was able to sew it back up. So once it was in, it was nice and seamless. So sometimes you just have to make adjustments on the fly because you don't know exactly what will happen until you actually start working with it. Once I was able to do that, it really turned out really nice, kind of funky, a little different because the Ankara fabric was an added bonus. Such a beautiful day. Yeah, I think I'm overdressed though, because I'm a little warm with these pants on and this top. But it's still good to be out in BK. It's my favorite borough. If this camera looks different, it's because this is my cell phone that I'm filming this on because I left my vlogging camera in the car. But I wanted just to take off my makeup. Let me show y'all what I use. I use this healing ointment, I'm almost out of it. I got this from CVS. To me, it's like Vaseline, to be honest. So I just take this because I gotta get some cotton rounds. I gotta get some cotton rounds so I could use my micellar water to take off my eye makeup. But since I don't have any right now, I just go ahead and use healing ointment. Let me see, so it's about that much. So I just put it over my entire face. So. finish massaging it down. I take my wipes that I get from Costco, Kirkland, the Kirkland wipes. These are the daily makeup removal wipes. They are excellent at taking off makeup. Sometimes you may need to use two. I like to take it off until the sheet is nice and clean. So it's almost clean. Gentle cleansing skin gel. 
See that? This is to remove any like excess makeup. My makeup remover cloth. Bright Beauty Oil. I actually got this at, um, I want to say Marshalls. So it's just a night oil. I only wear it at night. I just take a few drops and I just moisturize it into my skin. And that's my oil for nighttime. Okay, so that's pretty much my skincare routine. My skin looks good. I like how it's looking. I drink lots of water just to keep my skin hydrated. So there you have it. So I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or if I want to come back with some other things. But pretty much this was my week. And my week is done. So thank you guys for coming along. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next vlog, okay?